Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to get married. So I wanted to share a little bit about some sustainable wedding tips that I have. I feel like there's a lot of stigma against talking about environmentalism and the wedding industry. Right now, it doesn't really seem like there's a huge intersection between the two. So I wanted to showcase some of the things that I considered to make my wedding a little bit more eco-friendly. I hope you'll take some of these tips into consideration and that we can continue to have this conversation of sustainability and weddings, especially in 2022 with so many couples who have been planning weddings for a long time. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that I wanted to consider that was very large scale was the location of the wedding. So we decided to have our wedding where our family and a lot of our friends are still currently residing. This proved to be a little bit tricky with some of the planning, but ultimately because of the uh, centralized location, we figured it would be best also from an uh, eco-friendly standpoint, just to limit the number of traveling and reduce the overall carbon footprint of all of our guests that are coming into the wedding. It was also a very convenient option for a lot of our friends because many of them are just staying with their families back at home which also reduces the carbon footprint of folks staying in hotels or getting lodging in other places. The next thing that I really considered was where we sourced our flowers. This was something that I had learned while I was doing a lot of research about florists and getting flowers in general. Always try to shop local when it comes to flowers. Um, this was honestly a, kind of a big debate because before I was interested in maybe sourcing um, and doing paper flowers or instead doing wood flowers, um, but ultimately decided to go with live fresh flowers instead. But it was really important to me based on my values to go with a local florist who doesn't use any pesticides. The reason being is you can reduce some of the carbon emissions from um, a lot of these florists use um, internationally delivered and grown flowers um, and in order to do that not only is there the carbon emissions from the planes or barges that are uh, bringing them to the states but it also included the uh, impact that it has on the um, materials to keep the flowers fresh so there's a lot of um, cooling things that get disposed of um, frequently. Instead, I'm using a local florist, which I'm very happy. She's growing them fresh just for this wedding, and they'll be harvested just a week before um, the actual ceremony. It's also um, a bit more of a budget-friendly tip if you're thinking of using uh, fresh live flowers. Uh, by using locally sourced flowers, typically you can also work with smaller farmers and get a uh, big discount rather than um, some of the larger, more commercial florists. Okay, this third one can sometimes be a bit taboo. Instead of buying a um, dress new, I decided to get a secondhand dress instead um, for the purposes of not having to use a lot of new materials and also um, for my personal thoughts, since it's only something that I'm going to wear this one day, I didn't want to um, go ahead and have a whole new dress just for this particular occasion. Similarly, my fiance is going to rewear one of his suits that he already owns. For clothing in general or accessories, it's great to um, buy secondhand or repurpose something that you already use on the day to day. In general, this is also a more cost effective um, means for a wedding, but for me, it was something that was actually really special because it aligned with my values. And in general, it's also great to buy things. Um, secondhand or reuse and repurpose other wedding accessories from friends and family who might have also recently gotten married. Um, I don't see any harm in kind of reusing some of these things that are one-off, honestly. Like, I honestly don't think there's going to be another time I'm going to be using table numbers or anything like that. I'm also hoping for some of the things that I did buy new to also either um, give them away or sell them at a reduced cost. So that way the next couple can also use them for their wedding. Oftentimes these items are only used for that one night anyways, so often they look very new. Next, one of the other important aspects to me was to use reusable items um, for catering. So things like plates, cups, um, napkins, and cutlery. This part can get a little bit more costly, but it was something that was really important to us. We didn't want to have too much waste going into our wedding. And as a plus, I like the look a little bit better anyway, so that worked out really well. When it comes time to the wedding, there are often 
programs that people hand off or little menus. Instead, again, to reduce unnecessary waste, we're going to have one large poster that has the um, series of events and then also um, just one large chart for the menu. That way we aren't having all this unnecessary extra paper or um, other extra programs for just this one night. And speaking of paper, one of the other conscious decisions that we had made was deciding to use virtual save the dates and virtual invitations. When I was reading about playing for a wedding, there are always all these articles about what paper to pick or what kind of uh, invitation or layout to have for the save the date. And I think that save the dates are beautiful and they look really well done. But for me personally, I decided that it wasn't worth the extra emissions from uh, mailing it to everyone and also from the overall um, waste that it comes with from just creating and printing out that paper. Similarly, that also comes with the invitations and then also when people have to mail back their invitation for their RSVP. So instead, we did this all online um, using a website called WithJoy. Overall, I'm really happy that I was able to make some compromises to fit the vibe of the wedding and also kind of what I wanted from an eco-friendly standpoint. I wanted to have this video just to kind of once again start that conversation of having a more sustainable wedding. I think that a lot of the wedding industry is kind of glamorizing one-time use things or going all out. Don't get me wrong, I think that's amazing and that's really fun, but for me, I just don't think that that's worth um, some of the environmental damage, to be honest. So I hope this video was informative, or at least a little bit interesting. Hope it also turns some gears and lets you think about some things to consider if you're applying for a wedding. I think in general I'm also going to make a wedding series just because I was one of the first of my friends to plan a wedding, and it's a lot to think about, so I want to just share that knowledge while it's fresh off the top of my head. For any friends and family who are watching, hello. I want to say thanks for coming to our wedding and also hope you can see that there was a lot of thought and consideration into some of the decisions that were made. I appreciate you watching this video. If you already made it to the very end, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great day.